Hey little boys and girls, it's time for Stop Shop Scott. So Scott, we might be talking about a little woodwork today. It's cold as hell in the woodwork shop today. We gotta do some organizers. Call it winter cleanup. We skip spring. That means the snakes ain't moving. We gonna do some moving and clean up the wood shop again today. I didn't clean this sucker up once a month ago. Here we are again. The secret to keeping a clean shop is cleaning the damn shop. Check out what I found at the dumpster. Look at that. I guess the circus came to town. I missed it. Brother said, where's the damn handlebars? I don't know. <laughs> it was a joke. The handlebars is this right here. Got to clean up the wood shop today. The wood shop has been disorganized for far too long. Boy Scott's going to get it cleaned up today. Today's the day to do it. Today's the day we're going to get it done. As you can see what behind me, this is what I like to call a clutter fuck of a mess. The best way to unclutter a mess is just to get in there, deep in there, and unclutter it. Simple as that. It's not rocket science. It's cleaning up shit. I haven't seen this thing in two years. I think my brother finally brought it back. I don't know. We're going to start on one side of the shop and work our way around. Let's see what we can find. Maybe i put it on eBay. Unicycle's not for sale. We got propane in the wood shop today. And it ain't enough, but it's, 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 it's doing. Hey, listen, little boys and girls. Don't want you to get deterred when it comes to playing with your wood. Remember, every good woodworker, wood sculptor, had to start from somewhere. They didn't know what they were doing with their wood. Plan of attack is simple. We're going to organize each section of the shop. This is the entrance of the shop. Needs to be able to get in and get out. In case of a fire, propane. This is the work table over there. This area needs to be clean so you got somewhere to work. This behind me is what I like to call shelf space. This is shelf space. How about that? Get a gander at that. I think those are a little dated. It's got antique written all over it. You can use it to so make like a rolling table. Now the rest of it be made out of wood, which we love around here. Wood is our friend. You know, if I didn't have propane, I'd be burning the hell out some wood. First thing I'm gonna do is go through it. Anything I feel like I should throw away is getting choked in the damn trash. That was one of the hardest things I done was just throwing away that little thing of screws. This is gonna be a damn problem. I got a whole shop to go through doing this shit. I think mean, that took me about 20 minutes. Fuck, this is gonna take all goddamn day. That wood was just doing what it wanted to do. The wood was like, I'm gonna do this. And we were like, stop wood, stop, don't do that. And the wood's like, I'm gonna do this. We gotta just speed up the process. We ain't in kindergarten, we don't need this shit. Bottle of trash, old sandpaper, that's trash. We got about 10 of them, I'm about to start throwing those away. Or one single glove. Michael Jackson in here working. Kids, this is how you know it's time to go back to class. Get your ass to class. Trying to learn about some woodwork today. You know, I have technically Zero use for it. Don't let that wood get the best of you. 
become one with the wood and the wood will set you free like it did me unless you get a fucking splinter that shit sucks especially a big deep one it's fun to ring but be in displayed mode that means out the fucking way old mailbox this is in display mode too alpha bell is gonna be displayed right there look at there beautiful can't get no prettier than that we're just getting started people welcome to the show this is a bunch of fishing shit. Smells like fish. Damn, I feel like I'm making progress finally. This is some good wood stain. Wood stain. Make your wood put its best face forward with this. It dries in one hour. Sometimes. Old ball and arrow. Back in the day, that's how Grandpa fed us. He learned from the Native Americans. They called him White with. They just called him White. White boy. That's what they called him. White. Hey, White. He bought. He white boy. Oh shit. Made this when I was two. I love. I was playing with my wood a lot sooner than most boys. Get throw away the glove and found the other glove. Give the man a hand. And after many times of fighting our wood, molding our wood, crafting and shaping and playing our wood, we eventually became artists with the wood. That's what you, that's what you're gonna be messing with my shop. An artist. The hell is this? Checking blood pressure? Well, I mean, I might need it when I get older, so we ain't gonna throw this away. That's, I know uh, Dr. Bill's are expensive. Kids, this is what you put on when you come to my shop. This is what you hold your nails and screws. In a little pouch. You ain't got one of these, you can't can't really do too much woodwork. Learn to sweep that hammer. Little boys and girls, we got to hang this up. Oh God, I gotta go do some paid woodwork. Y'all don't pay me. So that's all you get today. But I wanna thank you for tuning in. This has been Talk Shop Scott. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get more of this clean by then. It's pretty good, I feel like. Look. Put my voice in.